We've now reached the crunchy bit of the questions I received about the PhD oral examination. So this question comes from Maya Bali again, hi Maya, who's joined us from Cairo and she asked me, what are your tips for PhD Viva preparation? Now firstly Maya, I've done a, a whole podcast on how to prepare for a PhD oral examination. So if you put in my name, Tara Brabazon, oral examination into, into Google, then you'll get a whole 20 minute podcast about how to prepare you for that really scary big event. But let me just give you a bit of a, a gig, a summary of what I think is important in that preparation process. First thing I think it is really important that you prepare your body and your mind because it's beyond stressful. It's one of the most stressful things you will ever do. So it is important to think about your body, to continue to breathe, don't forget to breathe, shoulders back, head up, and really go into that experience ready to sell your wares, defend who you are, and be your best self. So really make sure you know, you've eaten well, you're well hydrated, and your body and your mind are prepared to go into that process. I'll also give you another crucial tip that may just change your entire world. When you're in the oral examination, write down the question that the examiners ask you. Write it down. That has a few great points to it. Firstly, you don't forget it. Uh, secondly, you're under a huge amount of stress, so you might start answering the question and actually forget what the question was. So by writing it down, you have it. The other advantage of doing that is you have to take time to write it down. So it gives you a few precious moments to think about the answer while you're writing it down. So as a favor to me, when you're in that oral examination, write down the questions. Also, I think it's very important that you listen to the question. Now this seems really self-evident, like Tara, listen to the question, like obviously, but no, you need to listen to what is being asked rather than what you think you're being asked or what you'd like to be asked. And also, if you're not sure about what the examiner is asking you, always ask a follow-up question. Don't launch into an answer if you don't know what he or she is asking you. So keep asking questions until you are clear precisely about what the answer is. So be prepared to pause and go with the silences. Don't think you get a question and you have to immediately answer it. Get a question, write it down, take a breath, pause, think, smile. You can take 20 or 30 seconds. You're offering a crucial answer in one of the most important events in your life. Take half a minute to think about the answer. No one's gonna worry about that. Take the time. Don't be afraid of the silences. Also, feel free to ask for a break. If you're feeling unwell or you just need to go to the toilet, go to the toilet, okay? Feel free to ask for a break. We always plan those sorts of things before an examination commences. So trust me, the examiners, the chair of the panel, have already talked through possible scenarios. So think about that. The second last thing I would say to you is, please do not highlight your script. Don't put bloody post-it notes in it, okay? Have a clean script and don't think you're going to be allowed to move around that script too much to find out the answer, because you won't. And finally, I would say to you, you are a PhD student and it feels terrible when you're in that oral examination because you feel so deeply disempowered. Please don't. And if anything weird happens to you in that session, you know, racism, sexism, any sort of intolerance that you can pick up, make sure that you log that during the oral examination. Perhaps even state it to the chair, but make sure you report it afterwards. So remember, you are empowered as well. It is your examination and you have rights. So if anything strange happens, please feel free. In fact, you must log it with the Dean of Graduate Studies. Good luck.